Everyone, the end is here. The marathon. We are on number 25. Last one for standard 4 and F6. Numbers 21 through 25. Use decimal notation for fractions with denominators 10 or 100. That looks like 100 to me, so... That's 100. Whoops. I'm so excited because, you know what? My daughter, Maya, is watching. And Maya, can you tell everybody what this is? This is it. Everyone, this is it. This is the last problem. Maya, can you say hi to everyone? Hi. You want to say anything to anybody? I don't really care. Okay. You know what? She wanted to watch the recording. This is... Wednesday night, December 11, 2019, the record is set, number 25, unit 3, and then we are done. Oh, wait, then there's unit 4, unit 5, and grade 5, and you know what? 20 more years of schooling, actually schooling forever. Let's just stick with this, though. Let's stay positive. Maya, just watch along. Please do not say anything. Students take awesome notes. Teachers, you know what? Give me ideas. All right, 25. Select a decimal... That is equivalent. Equivalent means equal to 4 over 100 are 4 hundredths. What's a decimal? That's a decimal. Decimal. equivalent so the million dollar question or the one hundred dollar question is which one of these is correct now once you memorize the steps you watch a couple of the videos you take those awesome notes you use the math booklet Whatever it is, you'll see this answer right away. I'm like, oh, there it is. Now, I know this is a whole number. It's not a fraction. There is no way this is equal to a fraction. No way. Now you have a 33.3% chance of getting this correct. Why? You have one, two, three choices. Four tenths, four hundredths, four thousandths. Let's say that again. Place value chart. Your best friend forever. Going to the left, tens. Ooh, not tens. Ooh, too excited. Way too excited. Ones, tens. No, no. Okay. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, you know that. You memorized it by now. But we have super, super, duper small numbers. So we are going to the right. This way, smaller. This way, fractions. This way, decimal numbers. Okay? Okay. One tenths to the left. Right away to the right, we start on tenths. And that's where I made my mistake right there. Sorry. So sorry. Tenths. Hundreds. Thousands. Oh, did it make it? No, it did not. Oh, it got cut off. T-H-O-U-S-A-N-D-T-H-S. -S. Thousands. Let's put these in there. Four over 100. Notice right away. Remember previous lesson, number 24? I have two zeros. One number? Uh-huh. Two zeros. Oh, wait. One number? Oh, oh okay. One. Oh, oh, two zeros. I don't know if this is telling me anything. Let's line them up. Let's see what happens. 
0 0.4, 0 0.4. This is B. C. 0 decimal point, decimal point, 0 0.4. Okay, let's look at D. 0 point, decimal point, 0, 0, 0.04. Now, this is why you just memorize the place value chart going the long way and going the super, super small way. Really, really small. You would say this is four tenths R four over ten. Uh, we need uh, four over a hundred. This is forty over a hundred. Okay, actually, I, I told you that right away. Oops. Automatic, I just, whatever, last recording. C, you want to see two zeros, two digits, a zero and a four digit. We know this fits a pattern. You read this as four hundredths four hundredths now here's what happens students will either choose this one or this one they'll do it super fast and they'll see a four right there four over 100 and they'll pick this one but this is four tenths okay four tenths not four hundredths let's go to the next one. Oh, so small point zero zero four Four, no. This is four thousandths. Four thousandths, four hundredths, four tenths, forty. So let's do a quick review. Just memorize this. Memorize. Please. Zero point zero three equals 3 over 100. 0 0.05 equals 5 over 100. You have 5 pieces out of 100. 0 0.06 equals 6 out of 100. But 0 0.6 would equal 60 out of 100. And this will be more for later on unit four, okay? But we are on unit three, and this is it. Maya, you want to say it with me? Can you say this is it? Yeah. Go for it. This is it. So let's say study every day. Study every day. Practice your math. Practice your math. Know your math facts. Maya, do you have anything else to say to the class? Yes. What? Hope you have a great day. Me too. Love you. One love. Later.